welcome to Met America. You got the blues, feeling like something's wrong. Your water is polluted or running dry. The air your children breathe is loaded with cancerous particulates. We've got just the thing for you, Prozac. Pacify yourself all as well. Your child so signs of us as creativity, the makings of an artist. Oh, no need for that. We call that hyperactive disorder. We've got just the thing you need to destroy your young artist. A little riddle in this mother that creative impulse, no worries. Your child dares to talk back, dares to think for herself, showing some signs of independent thought. Oh no, we can't have that. We've got just a label to stamp on her. That's oppositional to my disorder. Now we can squash that little booger's uprising. Put down that independent free-thinking ruckus your child's are parking on. Here, open her mouth. We'll fill it full of soul off. We'll put an end to this human being shit in a hurry. Yeah. Mothers, mothers, having a bad day, kids got you down, your life sucks, you're wondering where it's all going. Is it really all about having that house, having kids, and being married just since that's what you've been taught since you were a little girl? It's okay, Lizzie. Pop this little pill. There's no need to get caught up in questions about love or status quo. You can either feed it to your baby in your breast milk or give it to them in your pharmaceutically raped room. That way you get a two for one. Medicate yourself, sedate your baby. Stop that crying, you bipolar baby. This is Men America. <laughs> Difficulty communicating with, well, anyone. Afraid of really honest dialogue or, God forbid, heat of debate. Oh no, an argument. That's a recipe for social anxiety disorder. There's no need to cultivate those social skills where you can open wide and just say, ah. So you're acting too human, or you're unhappy in the state of things. What's the problem with all this war and violence and so many criminals in the offices of power? A million dead Iraqis, Afghanis, and Pakistanis, cataclysmic climate change, and men needing drugs to get a heart on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, you can pop a little pill, feed them to your kids, call it medicine rather than insanity. This is the land of pharmaceutically free. But don't forget, we've got a pill to solve that free thinking thing, and if that doesn't work, we've got an industrial prison complex, free speech zones that look suspiciously like cages, and we've got your white-collar junkie friends. Oh, come on now, just try it. Get with the program. Take one for the team, man. Our mascot is a little white pill laughing, snarling, saying, eat me so I can eat you. So head over to the doctor's office, won't you? That's where we practice this med American insanity, or I need medicine, which will nicely numb you and strangle your children, and you can go back to thinking everything is just fine. Or not thinking, and just veg out with the kitties, not having to answer their damn questions or interact with them in some meaningful way. We couldn't have that now, could we? That would be what we call families being families, kids being kids disorder. And as you can see, we've got a whole pharmacy to take care of that little nuisance. Now don't forget, if you can't recite back to me every single fucking word I just said, that's attention deficit disorder, and we've got a cure for that, too.